Thank you, Wes Corbett. Good morning, sir. Hey, Tony. We are at Rocky Grass 2016 in Lyons, Colorado, and i um, so glad to have you here, Wes. I'm glad to be here. And you are with Molly Tuttle here. Yeah, so, yeah. Good really Molly Tuttle. playing with her. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah, she's a great singer. So let's just, we don't have a huge amount of time here, unfortunately. Yeah. We're, they're, these artist books people are just cramming us in here. <laughs> just kidding. But uh, um, just let's quickly go to where you started, how you got interested in the band, where you grew up, you know. Sure. A little bit yeah. of the background. I grew up on Bainbridge Island, Washington, which is uh, just across the water from Seattle. And my mom's father was a classical conductor and the, the head of the music department of Ohio Wesleyan for 25 years. Mm. So I, I grew up with a ton of classical music and actually my parents started me with Suzuki piano when I was two. Mm. And I did that until I was 16, which directly coincides with the first time I heard Bela Fleck. <laughs> Uh, so I, I heard Bela and went cold turkey on the piano. I actually never really was that passionate about the about the piano, um, but I was passionate about banjo. And so it was actually from after lesson number one, I, I have a dis very distinct memory of, of telling my best friend during PE class that I was going to be a professional banjo player. Wow, what you do back then? <laughs> In gym, you knew you were going to be a... Yeah, yeah, it's specifically gym. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so then I, uh, I went to CalArts in L.A. for one year, and this is before any of the, like, other than South Plains, any of the bluegrass banjo programs existed. Right. And I went there as a banjo player, and it's, it's a great school, um, but it, it just wasn't worth it as right. a banjo player. Um, and so I saved up money and then I moved home and saved up money and then moved to Boston kind of on a whim. Chris Pandolfi of the String Dusters had just moved to Nashville a few months before that. Mm. And so I moved to Boston and moved with gigs on the books already, which was amazing. I was very lucky. Um, and then I stayed there for nine years. Uh, for the last four years of that, I was the banjo professor at Berklee College of Music. Um, and then I've just recently, in the last year, relocated to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And uh, the band I first heard of you being was Joy Kill Sorrow. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of the first national touring yeah, band? Yeah, well, with? so I, I the, the <laughs> first band that I really... Well, the very first time I ever toured was sub subbing for Greg List and Crooked Still. Oh, okay. When he was playing with Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, okay. Um, but then... Pick your gig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so... Uh, uh, but I actually played with this band called The Bee Eaters. With oh, Simon sure. Of course. Chris and, 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 right. and Tristan and Tashina Claridge. And that was kind of um, almost like the chamber chamber music. Yeah. Like pretty much through composed with... with spots of improvisation but yeah and then i joined joy kill sorrow in 2007 i believe mm -hmm. and um yeah and then we started playing a lot about a year later uh -huh. and that yeah that's definitely where i you know got most of my exposure right sure. so just uh that first tune was absolutely beautiful oh thanks it seemed in, like the wc or something there were these moments <laughs> when it was like you that's impressionism, for gosh sake. Uh, <laughs> well, I love those composers. I think. Yeah. I, oh, like you do? Debussy and Ravel are some of my favorite composers. Well, it, to my ears, it kind of came out in that. Yeah. Proving, once again, you can do anything on a banjo. You yeah. can play a really slow tune without strict tempo. You were just kind of very mm. flowing and... Yeah. Um, well, and that's that's part of a, a, a few etudes that I, I have written. I, I was trying to write things for students. <laughs> And then got really into them, and then a lot of them got hard, pretty hard, <laughs> uh, like harder than I can play. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's like, good. I don't think I can give these to students. I could probably give that one to, to students. Yeah. And, and I think that there's so much to be learned from playing slow, and, it, and it's something that a, a lot of banjo players don't do. Um, and you you can learn so much about tone production, and, and especially about um, left hand technique. You know, because like all of your tiny mistakes and shifts really show. Whereas if you're, you know, playing really fast, you can 